Hey guys, check this out. I feel like Wyatt Earp today. Look, this is Cobra's brand new rosebud. Check this out. Now this is sweet. If you guys want to do some heating on some larger, thicker pieces of material, just four pounds of oxycetylene. Do you know how much oxycetylene a regular torch burns if you use one of these? So you can do a lot of real nice heating with just still that four pounds of oxycetylene. Now we're getting ready to do some cast iron. So I'm just going to show you this little jewel right here, preheat it just a little bit, then we'll show you how to weld that cast. All right, give it just a little bit more oxygen right here, guys. Is that sweet or what? So you guys want to do some heating on some larger pieces of material. That spreads out extremely nice. Remember, cast, you're going to preheat it about three, 400 degrees. Don't make a difference how dirty it is. What we want to do right here is grind it out. You always want to get your little groove or grind it out where you get your maximum penetration. Is that a sweet addition to the Cobra Torch or what? Now we're going to show you how to weld that cast. All right, guys, now that we have preheated it with our rosebud, now we're ready to weld, always make sure that you bevel or grind it out right here. Remember, you can go from very thin all the way up to one-inch plate. All right, now we're using a cast rod. Now, you can also use a cast iron piston ring if you have access to them. If you run out, now we've got these rods. A lot of places don't carry them. The home office, your dealer should have a good supply of these. Remember, you're going to have to use a good high heat flux. Cobra has an excellent one. All right, now we're using our number two tip. Remember, anything over an eighth of an inch, use that number two tip. If you're doing real thick stuff, we recommend our optional 2.5 tip. All right, we're going to light her up. All right, remember, cast iron, you want to get a pretty nice flame out here. All right, now you always want to preheat that rod a little bit because we're going to stick the flux or stick the rod right down in the flux right here. So when that rod is hot, the little flux right here sticks to it. All right, now a lot of times on cast, we don't know if we've got it too hot or not hot enough. This is a very simple way to get you started. Take the rod, lay it right down in the groove. You're going to put all the heat on the rod. You want to wash just a little bit of that rod right down into that crack or that groove that you're welding up. It usually takes just a second to get some off. Now normally it just sort of balls up on you. Run the torch back and forth across that little well puddle or that little well bead. When the temperature's just right, it'll start to flow real nice for you right here. All right, the longer you hold it, the more it's going to sink in, so you control the penetration right here. Come back, grab a little bit more of that rod. All right, hold it, let it sink in a little bit. Come back, grab a little bit more of that rod, wash it back and forth. Remember, the more penetration, the longer you hold that heat. Now, if it looks like it's not flowing, go back, get you a little bit more flux. All right, now when you get through, smaller piece like this, we can go back, use it with our number two or number three tip. Otherwise, get that new Cobra Rosebud. Go back and post heat it about four, six, seven hundred degrees. You want it to cool. You want it to cool real slow. Some guys put them in sand, lime. Uh, we've actually used, I hate to say it, cat litter. You can wrap it in aluminum foil. You can put household insulation. You just want that cast to cool very slowly. Now, when you get through, guys love this part of it. You can grind it down. There's no discoloration. You can drill it, tap it, and machine it. You can't do that with all those special rods out there. Now, once you grind it down, get you some 60-grit sandpaper. Lay right up against it, take a little hammer, and just peen that sandpaper. It puts the grain structure back in. You can't even tell where you even welded. Guys, it don't take but about one or two little cast iron repairs you've paid for that torch. You can also pick you some nice extra bucks on the side doing that. Now, you guys, some of you farrier guys putting borium drill tech on these shoes, it does an excellent job because of that soft flame, you have total control. You can put it on in between holes. It does not run. It does not pop like a regular torch. A lot of you guys putting heart bars in shoes. Remember, whether it's aluminum 
are still does an excellent job.